So let's talk about Russell Brand then. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what are I'm your thoughts kidding. on Russell? Do you know him? I know. Yeah, I've known Russell. I don't know him well, but I've known Russell t- over 20 years. I um, I think that he, uh, I, man, it's there's a uh, if there's smoke, there's fire. I don't necessarily, th- I don't. You who knows what goes on behind closed doors right. at the end of the day. Right. Mm-hmm. So. If people are saying, "Hey, I was wronged by this person. This person did X, Y, and Z." This, okay, I you you, sure, fine. If that's your experience and that's your experience, I I guess more to be revealed at the end of the day. I do, you know, I do think it's uh, an interesting. I'm not dogging any you know anyone for not wanting to come forward, but it is it is always a scary thing when accusations are made from. Pure no, no, anonymity. She's, she's come forward. Oh, she has now. She is forward. One of them. One of them is forward. I, I actually read her whole thing and her name yeah. and everything. One of them is. I, I, there might be more than one, but I did. Uh, I know there's more than one accusation, yeah. but the, I, I have seen somebody identified come forward. But to the point, it leaves when when accusations like that are being made from an anonymous source and people not willing to come forward. It then breeds conspiracy theories. Well, I know, well, because his whole thing, thing even before it came out, was this is going to be an attack on him because he challenges mm-hmm. the media. So I know that that is a lot of people's standpoint. Sure. Yeah, I, I think that he certainly has ruffled a lot of feathers over the last three years. He has. And, and we do know, especially in this room, that there are a lot of powerful media entities. And if they do want to shut you up, they will. Yeah. You know? The- Another big headline that I wanted to ask you about um, that your mom actually commented on even before the headline came out that oh. the rudest boy ever was Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. And I know you worked with him right on the yeah. 70s show. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was co- We didn't know the Ashton thing was going to come I out. Know, it was I know. I saw a, that before. It was well, like, before you say anything, uh, Ashton and, and, and uh, uh, Mila. Mila wrote uh, because we do this before we have guests on the mm-hmm. podcast. They, they wrote a tremendous letter with, telling us that you're a great character. Yeah, all about you. <laughs> that you're a good friend, you're trustworthy. Yeah. We got th- these letters, that just um, it came from Ashton. Remember we have, we yeah, have a character yeah. letter. Yeah. yeah. He, he likes you. Uh, I, I don't, I, I have, I worked with him on that 70s show and I never really socialized. I, I would see him out at events. We, all the time, 20 years ago, socially we were in the same circles. I was very good friends with Danny Masterson. So like I was around all the, like Wilma, Danny and I, we used to go to the same club every Friday. They were always the table next to mine. Like we spent an, an awful lot of time hanging out together. Um, so I, but Ashton was always, he was never really hanging out. Um, right. Was he rude little boy to you? I, I think those are the words your mom used, yeah, right? He, yeah, he was, I what it, you know my mom. She's not the best at remembering names. My 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 mom <laughs> mispronounced my wife's name for years. Probably still does. So when she said Ashton was a rude little boy, she meant who? She, no, she didn't say <laughs> Ashton. That's what. Yeah, that's who she was referring to. She had to. him on her, her show. Yeah. Uh, she mispronounced Kutcher. Kutcher. See Kutcher. Kutcher. She she <laughs> mispronounced it, and. He and in the commercial break, he made a comment to her like, "Why, like, who, like, basically saying like, well, why are you even in this job if you can't do it?" Essentially, right? And um, which isn't nice. That no, is rude. it is rude, and especially yeah. to someone of my, you know, an older woman. It's like, okay, like someone thinks my mom should be in this job, yeah, so, right? And who's not you? Yeah, um, she she is one who even in these moments, like that probably wasn't Ashton's best moment, but uh, what I love about Sharon is that, and it must be weird being her uh, her offspring because we're all embarrassed, as you are, by our parents. <laughs> but she, all the time. But, oh, constantly. But, but all she the time. will never, I think I'm kind of like that too, but she'll never hold back. No. Because, and, and that's her honesty, that's what, people love about her but it's also the same that same thing that propels her to notoriety is the thing that gets her in trouble yes yeah it, it, but it's how she was raised being a a female working in the music industry in the 60s 70s and 80s 
you had to be tough to survive. If oh, people, we just talked about who her father was. Yeah, and if if, if people obviously things have got leaps and bounds better, but thing shitty things still happen to people. People, and it was far worse back then. And she had to have thick skin to survive. And so she speaks her mind if she feels disrespected or anything. She doesn't hold back. 